Hello, hello. In today's math lesson, we're looking at systems of equations and our examples will focus on identifying solutions. So first let's start with what is a system of equation? A system of equation is a method for solving for two variables at one time given two equations. And we can identify the number of solutions and we can find these graphically um, based on what happens when we graph two lines in, on a coordinate plane. So graphically, we can find the number of solutions based on the graphs of two lines on a coordinate plane. So the first thing that we could have is one solution. If the two lines intersect, we have one solution. It is the ordered pair where they intersect. So we could use our methods for graphing, like slope-intercept form or t-tables or intercepts. We could graph our two lines. And if we find the point where they intersect or the point where they cross, that ordered pair, 3, negative 1, would be the solution. That actually allowed us to solve for two variables at one time just by finding the point where they intersect. So the first thing that can happen with systems of equations is we get two lines that intersect and our solution is the point where they cross. The second thing that could happen when we graph two lines on a coordinate is that they're parallel. And parallel lines do not cross and therefore would have no solution. They have no points in common. They have no points of intersection. The third thing that could happen is we'd have infinitely many solutions if the two lines coincide, meaning they have an infinite amount of points in common. So if we graph one and then we go to make our second graph and it makes the same line on top of it, we'd have an infinite amount of solutions because every point that works in one line also works in the other. Now, algebraically, we can find the number of solutions based on substituting an ordered pair into both equations and determining if a true statement um, is in both equations. So that's what we're going to focus on today, is if we're given a point, can we put it into two equations and see does it work in both? And if it does, then we know it is a solution to the system of equation. If it doesn't work in both, then it's not a solution. So this is what a typical problem will look like. It says, is the ordered pair a solution of the system of equations? We're given the ordered pair 6, 2, and we're given two equations. Remember, with ordered pair, the x value comes first, then the y. So we have an x of 6 and a 2 of y. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute 6 and 2 into our first equation of y minus x equals negative 4. We're going to replace the x with 6. We're going to replace the y with 2. And then we have the new problem, 2 minus 6 equals negative 4. 2 minus 6 is negative 4, so negative 4 equals negative 4. So ordered pair 6, 2 worked great in the first equation. Now let's check it in the second equation. Let's replace the x with 6. Let's replace the 2 um, for y. And we have negative 6 plus 8 equals 2. Negative 6 plus 8 is 2. So this ordered pair worked in both equations. So if I get two true statements, like 2 equals 2, negative 4 equals negative 4, then I know that 6, 2 is the solution that work in both equations. And if we graph these two equations on a coordinate plane, we would see that they cross at the point 6, 2. Is the ordered pair a solution to the system of equations? So new problem, we have the ordered pair 3, 4, and we have two new equations. So we want to substitute in 3 and 4 in for the x and y and see if they work in each equation. So I'm going to replace this x with 3 and replace that y with 4. Then I get 3 plus 2 times 4 equals 11. Now remember your order of operations. We have the choice right now of add or multiply. Well, order of operations says we have to do a multiplication before we do addition. So 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11 equals 11. So 3, 4 work great in the first equation. Let's try it in the second equation. I have 3 times x, which is 3 times 3, and I have 2 times y is 2 times 4. Then I have to decide, do I do addition or multiplication first? Well, I multiply first and get 9 plus 8. And 9 plus 8 is 17, and 17 does not equal 18. So the ordered pair 3, 4 did not work in the second equation, so therefore it is not a solution. Even though it worked in one, it doesn't work in both. So that is not the solution for the system equation. It did not work. 
So in order for it to be a solution, it has to work in both equations. All right, you guys try this one on your own. Pause the video here, give it a shot, come on back, and then we'll see how you did. Okay, welcome back. So we're going to put 2 in for x, and we're going to substitute 6 for y. So I get 3 times 2, which is 6. Easy, easy stuff there. 6 equals 6. So 2, 6 worked great in the first equation. Let's try the other equation. Put 2 in for x, put 6 in for y. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So this one worked in both equations. So yes, 2, 6 is the solution that works in both equations. That is a good solution. So if we graph those two um, lines, we would see on uh, coordinate plane that they intersect at 2, 6 meaning that's the only x and y value that works in both equations. All right, you guys, let's try another one. You guys pause the video here, see if negative 2, 1 is a solution to the system of equations. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. We put negative 2 in for x. We put 1 in for y. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Minus 3 is 1, so it worked great in the first equation. Let's try the second one. So the... Put in negative 2 for the x, put in 1 for y. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus positive 4 is 0. So 0 does not equal 1, so it did not work in the second equation, so this is not a solution for a system of equations. And I hope that helps you guys with identifying solutions to systems of equations. Have a great day!